first of all the marketing undoubtedly act as a stimulus to the development and improvement of living standard uh, since the beginning of 20th century and most intensively during the last 60 years marketing has evolved and we have seen different stages of marketing from marketing 1.0 to marketing 2.0 to marketing 3.0 marketing 1.0 it was more product driven approach focused on the growing cell at the lowest possible cost so what the marketers was doing they were at the time focusing on using salespeople to convincing people that okay with forcing or sometime convincing and pushing for sales and sometimes it could be irritating for people because the salespeople were just pushing the sales so it was more product given approach because the sales people uh, sales person in an organization they'll be using more sales uh, person for selling and they were pushing the sales then after marketing 1.0 we moved to marketing 2.0 where we started thinking about it's not just product driven approach it's more customer centric focus during 2.0 it implicitly assumes the view that customers are passive target of marketing activity so at that time uh, it was more customer centric focus so what does it mean that we were thinking this is our customer and we can actually market the product and shows in a way that they will buy and there was some kind of manipul manipulation tactic in there because we are thinking okay if we are manipulating our customers it means that they will buy and this is why we can see that how marketing has evolved in past years it kind of gives sometimes a little bit bad perceptions about marketing but then marketing is evolving over the time how we are seeing the customers so marketing 3.0 it's seeing that it's a value driven era we are seeing that people are no longer perceived as market target but rather thoughtful intelligent partner with emotions hearts and spirits so we are more thinking that as a customer they are more as a partner they can co-create together so it's not about manipulation it's rather about creating value but through the marketing so that it actually improve their life so that's marketing 3.4 after that we are moving to marketing 4.0 which is now we are seeing moving from traditional to digital specifically when it's pandemic time uh, after the pandemic we see is that many of these uh, uh, users uh, uh, who were not previously were using digital devices they started using digital devices and marketing is more moving towards digital marketing now so we are more focused on digital marketing now and uh, so marketing still exists definitely but at the same time it's more moving towards digital marketing so the definition of marketing as i mentioned marketing is the management process responsible for identifying anticipating satisfying customer requirement profitably so that's what we are doing but how we use digital marketing to support this aim. So for identification, internet can be used for marketing research to find out marketing needs and want. So with the marketing research, we can actually use internet, which is the digital version uh, to identify the needs and wants. Then we can anticipate as well. Internet provides an additional channel by which consumer can access information, make purchases and evaluating this Demand is key to governing resource allocation to e-marketing. Then satisfy. So the satisfying is a key success factor in electronic marketing. Uh, is achieving customer satisfaction through electronic channel, which raises issues such as the site is the site easy to use? Does it perform adequately? What is the uh, standard of associated customer service? How are physical product dispatched? So satisfying. Uh, when it comes to satisfactions and when it comes to digital marketing, we want to make sure the customers are uh, are happy with our websites and other, other does it perform adequately because for the digital marketing it's important that your websites and other things are performing well. So now uh, the development of ICT and evolution of digital marketing, how it has impacted, I'm going to talk about those. Uh, so during uh, 
1994, there was a, so what happened during 1990s, the internet was very static at the time. There was not much interactions in the website. So it was just, uh, you can just browse uh, sites. There is no interactions. So it's just more information. And what happened that during 1993, banner ad, like those flashy ads you can see when you go to websites, there are advertisements coming in. Those was introduced during 1993. Then after that, our first search engine, web crawler, which was a very basic search engine, introduced during 1994. So after the web crawler, four years after the web crawler, web crawler, we have Google, which was during 1998. And we can see is that how big Google is now within this uh, time. So at the time, the internet was not much interactive. It was more static. So it was, and we as a marketer had to adopt. So at the time there was not much interactions and we were using those search engine. When it was a search engine, Google came up with this idea that you can do search engine marketing and then you can promote your product. When somebody search into Google, your product pops up in there. So those kind of things started. But then after that, around 2000, we have seen that interactive website is coming in where we see all the social media sites started uh, popping up and we marketers started adopting it. So we started using social media marketing. We use all the social media marketing to reach to the customers. So this is how we adapted it. So after that, around 2010, we see that web 3.0, where we are seeing human machine interactions, where we are using Alexa, we are using uh, Siri. If you are using iPhone, you probably use Siri. Uh, so all these human machine interactions is happening. So this is important. And uh, so what we can see is here that every time there is a technological development, we are adapting it in marketing. And even like with Alexa, using Alexa, you can order nowadays pizza, like Domino's pizza and things like that. So those are becoming common. So in marketing, when there is a new technology adoptions, we are adapting those. So this is what is happening. Now, um, until 2028, in internet access penetration is 54.4 percent of the world population highest penetration in north america is 95 percent and in europe 85.2 percent 4g mobile coverage are available three third of the world the world is moving towards 5g videos are possible to download in mobile devices in seconds this internet access enables over 4 billion people to get access to new technology such as voice-led devices augmented and virtual reality chatbot and automations so that was till 2018 and there's a lot have changed after 2000 because after the pandemic more users have started using digital uh, technology